Good morning. I think there's a good chance we could break that camera mount off. We're tethered though. I'm delivering the lead now. I screwed up guys. I screwed up. You see my headache rack is all bent in. I, it didn't occur to me that I was hitting the load against the headache rack. I fixed it now by moving the fifth wheel back. So we'll be okay going into sight. But I rubbed the corner of the load, which really sucks. The customer doesn't seem too worried. They said this is part of the wall and this is gonna disappear and won't be visible, but it kind of sucks. So my pup is down there. We've got the lead here. Now, you know what, let's put you guys back here somewhere. I don't know. I have no idea if it's gonna stay here or not. We will tether it on. Does that, does that work? Maybe a little further to the center. Yeah, it's gonna watch the fifth wheel. Okay, I'm gonna pull up there. Up and down. wasn't too bad but it was a lot shorter than this one is so let's see how this works they asked if I needed a guide I'm like no I should be okay the first trailer they wanted a little bit further down in the yard this one's gonna stay up right at the construction site so if I can make it to the construction site there's one corner that concerns well there's a lot of corners that concern me There is a dump truck that pulled into here. That concerns me too. Hey, dump truck on Ross Road, you on here? Let's see if he's got his radio on. Okay, so the trick is <clears throat> not to run the steer tires off the side of a cliff and not to rub the trailer against the cliff. That is the trick. I'm not sure where the dump truck is going. Excuse me, allergies suck. If, it's, if the dump truck is going to the same site we're working on or a different one, I'm not sure. Okay, in this case, I gotta make sure I don't run the trailer off into the cliff, but this corner is not too bad. Oh, there's the dump truck. He is already backing up out of the way. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. We don't have to worry about the dump truck on the other areas. Uh, rubbing trees on both sides, just branches, but. I can't see where I'm going. So we are just north of Hope on Ross Road.
Yeah, there's a gate here, hidden gate. Make sure we don't rub against that at all with the load. That would be a bad day. There's another gate further down. It's more visible, but it's, it's a more of a hazard as well. There's a house being built up here too. Here's the gate. That concerns me. Let's stay all the way to the left hand side without falling into that little ditch right on the edge. Scrubbing and scraping, pin stripping trailers, or the truck and the trailers. Okay, we're looking good. Looking good. Okay, I left more room on the passenger side, but that's okay. Okay, here comes a sketchy corner. Very steep downhill corner. I'm so glad we removed <clears throat> the uh, low bed sliders. Because we would be tearing them all off again. <clears throat> Got a couple of very sketchy corners coming up. The road only gets narrower. Too much engine brake. Okay, <clears throat> this corner here is going to be very tight. <clears throat> Let's get the steer tire right on the edge. I'm drive off the cliff without driving off the cliff. Okay, yeah, that worked out. I was worried about that one. There's one more coming that I'm quite worried about, but we'll deal with that as we get there. We're taking so many trees down with a mirror right here. There's no way I could have put the mirror camera up. It's not been the mirror now. Now comes the sketchy, sketchy stuff. I'm going to go to low, low, low gear, my lowest gear I have. Engine brake on first level. Now I have to take my foot off the throttle, it's braking a little bit. You guys can see down there is where we dropped off the first panels. Bottom of the hill there. That's where the first panels got dropped off. Our second panels we're gonna drop off over there ahead of us.
Okay. Sketchy corner time. It's the sketchiest of them all. Because I need to get as far to the driver's side as I can without driving the trailer off the edge there. But then I need to make a turn. So yeah, that, this, is, this is a sketch. We're probably going to rub those rocks on the passenger side. Okay, I am hanging one of the wheels off the edge. Remember, we got duels, so we got the center ones. Or the, the inside tire is still on the road. And there's only going to be one axle at a time off the road. Can't see my steers, but the rear trailer is definitely going to go up and over that hill. Okay, let's make sure we don't rub the toolbox. Okay, climbing the hill. And over. Woo. Okay. Prefer me closer or further away? You can go as tight as you can to, to that line. side, yep. And then I'm going to try lining up with what's best suits for me to pick up. And I'm just going to yell, yep. Okay. This unloaded and I'll get back to you. All right, dump truck. I am uh, working on making a U turn at the bottom here. Perfect timing. Uh, I'll just show it here on Ross Road for you. Okay, 10-4, it's going to take me a few seconds to try to get this sucker turned around.
show you how to turn my lockers on. All right, thank you. Till next time. Okay, I put the mirror cam up, but I don't know if that's gonna work out or not, but let's find out. With the air pressure moving up and down so much, like low air pressure, low air pressure. All right, now we're gonna basically curb it on rock. All right, curbing it, curbing it. Oomp, thump, thumpity thump, thump. Okay. All right, I am turned around and starting my way up. Perfect, I'll be up. I'll be there in just a couple of seconds. Come on through. AC going. Scratching all the trees. The homeowner doesn't want them to jackhammer any more of the rock than necessary because he wants to keep the driveway as natural as possible. So basically, keep it as tight as physically possible to get the loads in. Go nice and wide. I really don't want to curb it on that rock. in the weeds there. Okay, that works, that works. Yeah, thank goodness I had two really good ratchet straps with a telehandler. I was going to record some video, but I was uh, helping the whole time with the unload. A lot of sites don't allow you to help, but uh, I think it really worked well with me helping over here. waiting. Thank you. She's a little bit snug for a trailer this length. All good there, man. You have a good one. Whew, okay. Let's go grab the other trailer and uh, get out of here. I did broke, I broke a uh, mud flap bracket off the trailer. It was just hanging when I did my post trip yesterday. So that has to be fixed before we hit the road. Because if we hit any kind of moisture or even debris and rocks, I could be spitting rocks out in people's windshields. and That's a hard and no can do.
camera is staying up there pretty good. Even with us hitting all the leaves and branches. I'm just worried about some car come booting up the road. Grab our pump and then find out where I can get that bracket welded on again. I parked the pump kind of a funky angle like that, it would be easier to hook up to it. And the landing gear, at least at least one of the landing gears on pavement and the other one is on, on hard pack gravel. I'm like when I dropped the trailer, I pulled up very slowly. I'm like, are you gonna fall down and dig, fall into the ground? It's, it's empty, so it should just sit there, but you never know. pickup go. Get lined up properly. Too far over. Well, maybe that can be corrected. Let's go take a look, see what she looks like. Okay. Hey, I think that's lined up pretty darn good. We're gonna actually load our landing gear a bit. Yep, that'll tuck right on in. Pretty close to center. So yeah, we'll tuck the, move the landing gear down. Okay, that should do the trick. It should just click right on in. Um, that's on an aluminum deck. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall off or, or get squished by, never mind. Let's not get it squished. Let's put it back over here. I know you can't see as well, but I don't want to get squished either. She's looking good. Need to put a little grease on these. That was some advice you guys gave us. Put grease on the glad hands and they wouldn't be as squeaky. Turn the valves on. You can hear the trailer hiss. Let's 
to lift the landing gear the rest of the way up. go make sure the lights on the back are working every time I reconnect I make sure the lights are working and we're good let's uh, see where the boss wants us to head head down into hope Whew. it's been a it's been a day already it's been a busy day yeah there's definitely scratch lines on the paint job, on the mufflers. Definitely, definitely scratch her up when you go down roads like this. Oh yeah, some good, good scratch lines up on that side. Harder to tell on this side, I think. But that's what we get for going into sites like this. Okay, cleared all the rocks off. All the toolboxes are Closed, let's double check. Two boxes are both closed. I can see they're latched. Let's head down into Hope. There comes the dump truck already too. Must be the old highway or something. Ross Road must be the old Trans Canada Highway for the realignment. Okay, let's hammer down one of those roads. No matter how long we wait, we're gonna likely cut someone off. Hopefully that wasn't me. I will definitely go check all the tires and everything. I think I'll just pull into Hope. Fifty. Just pull into Hope. And then call the boss and see what the plan is.
There we go. Sounds good, thank you. Bye. Okay. So the shop he called can't do it. So I'm just gonna go to the SO truck stop, the card lock here. Let's take the scenic route. Unless it says no trucks allowed, I'll take the scenic route. Let's keep an eye out for signs that say no trucks. Put my Bluetooth back down. He asked if I could uh, go to Chilliwack, and I'm like, no, uh, I shouldn't even be driving right now. It's like the legal liability. I see drivers do that. You see people flying around highways with no mud flaps. It's totally illegal. I shouldn't even be driving here, but I figure a short little distance like this on a nice day should be all right. Yeah, it's like, you want to go to Chilliwack and get a fix there? I'm like, no, no, I'm not willing to drive a long distance with a defect like a missing mud flap. A missing mud flap is actually a pretty big deal, legally. That doesn't say no truck straight ahead. Let's go straight ahead instead of taking uh, Trans Canada. Turns green just as I was in the lowest gear. Of course, should have taken my time. Wow, two Trans Canada Highway one this direction as well, so both directions are are cool. So we'll just pull into the Esso card lock here. I fueled up there yesterday, slept there last night. We'll park in there and uh, see if he can find someone that'll weld it. never taken you guys on this road ever before. This is new. Huh, there's actually a pretty big decent pullout over here. Totally park over there and sleep there. Do I keep this lane? Should I be a lane over? Yeah, I should have gone into that lane. It's merging up ahead, but note to self next time. If there'll ever be a next time. Pull into that lane. Holiday Motel. A 
looks like there used to be an overpass here, a walkway. Probably when this used to be the main highway. And I guess I should continue doing 30 till that that sign there. Okay, then we increase to 50. Jamie Davis is down that road to the left there that we just passed. Wonder if Jamie Davis could weld it up for me. That car just drove into the truck stop instead of the passenger vehicle entrance. Yep, car, you're in the wrong one. Let's just do a big loop de loop here. ourselves up in one of these. Let's go check all our tires just in case. And then I'm gonna eat some lunch. Looking. We're going to look at the airbags on the other side. Make sure I didn't blow an airbag. Hard to see that one. Okay, there we go. I just heard a pop. And it might have been anything else beside us, too. And not us. You see? Mud flap here. No mud flap here. You can look at the brake that most of it, most of it has been, been broken previously and then this the last little bit broke. Yeah, looking good. I did those right. look good okay everything looks good and 
those airbags look good. Whoop. Thank you, Tether, <laughs> or else I would have dropped the camera. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to bail out of here, see what we can get done over here, and then uh, we'll hammer down. You guys absolutely rock. Wait, wait. This worked, this worked yesterday, right? This worked yesterday? Thank <laughs> you.